Oh, it's made by Oculus, okay. I'm kinda curious what's their idea of hand tracking game, you know? <laughs> because normally it would be just indie devs trying to piece together this technology to create something decent. We have hands. Wait, they work a little bit differently from the hands that I have in the Oculus home. They are much more fluid in terms of tracking. I wonder if it's because this game kinda enhances it or something, but the tracking is definitely different. Like, there's a latency to them. So I think it uses some kind of predictability maybe in the movement. If I would close close my hands together, they would disappear. But here, it's like a different scenario. I'm not sure what's this game about, so I'm just gonna, I guess, press stuff. Playground, so it's a tutorial, I guess. We're not doing that. Hand track interaction, so wait. Every stage is described like that. Does that mean like it's not really like a game, but rather a tech kinda demo? Like in terms of just seeing the mechanics and just how to utilize them? We'll see. Hmm, okay. Well, a fire. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> it's like, do we defend the area or something like that? Oh, I guess I should have played the playground. Maybe it was a tutorial. <laughs> Oopsie. Hmm, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, you're not aiming. You're actually like, it's fixed in place where you would throw it. So they oversimplified that. Because the technology is still rather new, so they have to do what they can. So I guess we're letting them out here and just defending, I guess? Yeah, it seems like it. We were defending them from getting hurt. I need to still remember it's a hand tracking game, so the mechanics are not advanced. Reach out to glowing ring, grab and pull. <sighs> okay. Love that. You need command. Pick up character, tap to select command. <laughs> so cute. Ah, oh, okay, that's a command to unlock the gate, I guess. <laughs> yep. So this is some sort of a puzzle adventure stage experience. It's kind of like attack demo, but not really the middle ground. Okay, my dude, go unlock her. <laughs> that sounds weird. Punch! What am I summoning? Okay. Oh, I guess they're archers. Okay, I didn't see the bows. So she's gonna go here. Defend! Uh. <laughs> go by. <gasps> no! Was she killed? You good. Just go. Ah, oh, she has to reach there. Okay, got it. Oh shit, something happening there. Go! I can't choose! <laughs> Just go! Ah. Damn! Incoming! Ah! Nice! Oh damn! It's a little bit high, okay? You need targeting. Pick up character, tap to set command, point finger at target select. I guess here? My hands are better <laughs> to just like use them as a weapon. Oh, I need three of them! Okay, there's one. Here we go. And look. It's just weirdly plays the commands. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Nope. Go in the middle. Help them. Help <laughs> them. Are they praying to something? Like they're doing that. <laughs> Where are you shooting? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> To space. Well, it's gonna be on the top. We have to go first here and now here. Oh, is this a boss fight? Oh no, I'm controlling him. Ah, okay. Kill them! <laughs> Shockwave. This is like, uh, you know, those old school video consoles, like in the markets or something, with those joysticks and just clicking buttons. Usually it was like Street Fighter or Tekken, those fighting games to play with your friends. Yeah, that reminds me that. Obelisk. What does it do? What do we do with it? Stroke it? Oh, hit it. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. Mm hmm. 
so that was most temple i could do like you know other areas as well but it just seems like it's testing out just hand tracking capabilities pretty much at least for now because in the future it's gonna be way more advanced but now we're just sticking to the kind of basic interactions you know i would say i'm more impressed with the tracking itself sometimes of course it's glitchy and it doesn't pick up everything you do because it's dependent on your lightning in your room and the distance from the headset like i tend to have hands basically in front of my eyes and they should be like out there but that's just me i would say it's cute for something that free i feel like it's an extension of elixir you know this first hand tracking experience released when this feature dropped for the first time so like tiny castles is like a tech tutorial to discover more possibilities in terms of mechanics and just more complex controls i don't know it's pretty cool 